Y rápidamente vamos a pasar con Daryl Harrison de Volkswagen de North America para hablar de la versión eléctrica del Volkswagen Golf. Uh, how are you, Daryl? Good. Good. Excellent. We're Daryl Harrison here from Volkswagen and here we are in the new 2015 Golf, el e Golf, right? E Golf, that's right. So the, the engine is running, we don't hear anything. Right. <laughs> Volkswagen's first, first all electric uh, Golf. Yeah. So yeah, no, no, no engine. Uh, sound and actually for an electric car that is the term engine correct or is motor uh motor motor yeah. right so, I, I yeah. learned that the other day right right so it, it runs on an electric motor um so. all electric no fuel no gas nothing all electric it's the, the company's first first all electric um our first plug-in in the market Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, the new Golf, the seventh generation Golf, is coming out like in June for for the U.S. market. When is this coming out? Uh, this is due at the end of 2014, so the fourth quarter of the year. Um, and it will, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and yeah, it'll be initially available in uh, select markets, um, and then we'll um, review and um, potentially expand from that point. Yeah. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about the specs about this car? So horsepower is about 115, um, and that's uh, all available the moment that you press the accelerator. Uh, this particular car has a 24 kilowatt hour battery, um, which is good for about uh, 70 to 90 real world range. Um, and that's and that's how based on how most people drive. Yeah. Um, on the high end, you could probably get somewhere in the neighborhood of 115 if you're being very efficient with it. Um, and obviously, if you're driving more aggressive, it changes that as well. Uh, the additional thing is that <clears throat> this car was is uh, designed initially as a Golf. So, you know, there's no, in terms of design, it's not uh, completely different than the Golf. Um, it still offers the same size. The battery is packaged in a way that you don't lose any trunk space. Yeah, because in some electric cars, you do lose a lot of space. That's right. That's right. But the, the interesting thing is that with the new um, MQB or the modular uh, transverse toolkit, yeah. we actually are able to package everything in a way that prevents uh, intrusion into the cabin. So as a consumer, whether you're driving, driving a GTI or a Golf or an e-Golf, you have the same amount That's of space. That's pretty amazing. Well, you also lose the, the gas tank space, right? That's right. Well, that, that's correct. You're right. And, and, and basically, I mean, here, the, because the battery is set uh, between the two axles, further to the back, power electronics are up front, the weight distribution on the car is actually really good. So it's, it's, it's a virtually 50-50. So from a performance standpoint, it keeps the car planted. Um, it's very confident. And, and, and you, it, it handles very well, even though it's not designed to be a sports car, so to speak. Yeah. But yeah, it's true. With electric cars, all the, all the torque is immediately there. That's correct. Uh, so it's like really fun. That's right. You're absolutely right. You know, and the other thing that's interesting about this car is that it's the first Volkswagen um, we sold in the U.S. that has all LED lighting. Um, yeah. Only the E. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. The E-Golf. So it's all LED lighting and, uh, excuse me, all LED headlights, um, which is unique uh, for this car and unique in the market for us. Um, in addition to that, <clears throat> the the charger that we use or the plug that we use actually is a uh, the SAE combo plug, which allows for uh, tier or level two charging. You know, from a J1772 plug, 240 watt. Um, or you can do DC fast charge, which allows you to charge uh, up to 80% in about uh, 25 And this minutes. is a separate unit that you will buy and install in your house? Well, the charger is actually completely different. I mean, I'm, I'm referring to just what, what the car can take in terms oh, of... Oh, okay, the, what it's in the car. That's correct, oh, okay. yeah. And, and we actually have a 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger which is actually one of the largest in the segment. So um, that allows for shorter charge times. But in terms of the, the charging infrastructure, so to speak, we actually are going to partner with a, a, a partner that is going to provide not only the charger, um, but also the installation services. Um, and the, the idea is to make it seamless. So as a consumer, you go to the dealership, you buy your e-golf, um, and the whole process from rewiring your house to uh, permitting and all of that will, will all be made. Uh, handled out of the dealer and with this exclusive partner so you don't have to worry about um, doing anything or changing anything or going to a number of different places to be able to get it done. It's, it's a one-stop shop. Uh, what about pricing? Uh, obviously, I mean, always uh, the hybrid electric cars are more expensive than the regular ones, right? Um, 
Traditionally, yes. Now, uh, I'll say that because the car is, it won't go on sale until the end of this year, uh, you know, we final know pricing yet. isn't isn't set yet, but expect it to be competitive in the compact uh, EV segment. Yeah. You know, one of the other things that, that I that I want to mention, and, and and it kind of speaks to the entire experience, is the fact that um, <clears throat> Volkswagen has really designed a very customer-focused approach to the e-Golf. So um, we offer roadside assistance uh, standard uh, with the car uh, to help uh, provide you know extra peace of mind for consumers that may have some concerns about range um, you know in certain situations uh, we also are going to offer a loan program if you need a car to drive longer distances or you need a bigger product but even though electric cars yeah. don't get that need too much maintenance really I mean there's that's no correct. there's no yeah. engine there's no oil there's no that's correct I mean it's yeah. only brakes and like what else well and that's that's a great it's a great great point I mean uh, electric cars inherently have much fewer moving parts, which requires you know less uh, maintenance and less yeah. and less repairs to certain systems and whatnot. Um, so so you're right from a from a cost of ownership from a kind of owner experience standpoint, uh, you know it's it definitely a lot easier to maintain than some some other gas powered cars for sure. Right. So the new uh, e Golf uh, 2015. Uh, so it's going to start what? What is it? California, the West uh, Coast, basically. There's, there's actually yeah, nine states. So oh, nine states. So California, and then several states um, uh, up and down the uh, Northeast. Well, thank you very much for the information, Harold. And uh, we're going to keep uh, driving around here, San Francisco, all the different uh, versions of the new Golf. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.